हेलो एंड वेलकम टू डॉक्टर अणिमा उपाध्याय केमिस्ट्री इन टेक्नोलॉजी लेक्चर वीडियोस टॉपिक ऑफ टुडेज वीडियो इज कार्बन नैनो ट्यूब्स बट बिफोर आई स्टार्ट टुडेज टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक यू टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल इफ यू हैव नॉट डन इट सो फार एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू प्लीज शेयर दिस वीडियो अमंग ऑल योर फ्रेंड्स एंड कोलीग्स Now let's begin with the today's topic that is carbon nano tubes abbreviated as CNTs What are carbon nano tubes A carbon nano tube is a tube or a cylinder made of carbon with diameters measured in nanometers It is intermediate between graphene and fullerene and is an allotrope of carbon What are the types of carbon nanotubes Carbon nanotubes fundamentally fall into two classes single walled carbon nanotubes abbreviated as SWCNTs and multi walled carbon nanotubes abbreviated as MWCNTs and with the help of images I have tried to show you the SWCNT and MW cnt that is multi walled carbon nanotube what is graphene graphene is a one atom thick layer of carbon atoms arranged in a hexagonal lattice it is the building block of graphite and this is the image of graphene what is fullerene fullerene is an allotrope of carbon whose molecule consists of 5 to 7 carbon atoms connected by single and double bonds so as to form a closed mesh with fused rings the molecule may be a hollow sphere an ellipsoid a tube or in many other shapes and sizes here is the image of fullerene state the various allotropes of carbon along with their dimensionalities so with the help of images i have tried to show you the various allotropes of carbon and i will also state the dimensionality of these allotropes so the graphite here is the image which is three dimensional graphene two dimensional carbon nanotube one dimensional fullerene zero dimensional and diamond three dimensional and it is the graphene which is folded to form a carbon nanotube how do nano scale dimensions affects properties of materials at nano scale substances at the nano scale level have a greater surface to volume ratio compared to the materials at bulk scale and this causes them to react very quickly the small particles have a greater percentage of atoms on their surface which accounts for their increased surface to volume ratio are carbon nanotubes hollow from inside yes carbon nanotubes are one dimensional cylinders which are hollow from inside how are carbon nanotubes produced the production of carbon nanotubes is simple theoretically when a single layer graphene sheet is rolled into a tube it creates single walled hollow cylinder called swcnt and with the help of this image in a i have tried to show you how a single graphene sheet when folded forms a single walled carbon nanotube to create multi walled carbon nanotubes many layers of graphene sheets are rolled as shown here in the figure 
B. Does the properties of single and multi-walled carbon nanotubes same? No. Despite the similarity between the two, they differ significantly in their physical properties. Why the physical properties between single walled and multi walled carbon nanotubes different? The difference in the physical properties is due to the difference in their structures, that is, single wall and multi walls. What is the raw material of CNT? The raw material for carbon nanotube is graphene, as they are made up of graphene sheet or Sheets in single walled and multi walled carbon nanotubes. Are carbon nanotubes also called bucky tubes? Yes, they are also called bucky tubes. What are the properties of carbon nanotubes? The properties are very important. They have very high thermal and electrical conductivity. They have high aspect ratio. They are very elastic, approximately 18% elongation to failure and have a very high tensile strength. They are highly flexible and can be bent considerably without damage. They have a low thermal expansion coefficient. What are the sources of carbon nanotubes? The sources or precursors for carbon nanotubes are hydrocarbon gases such as acetylene, ethylene, methane etc. Where are carbon nanotubes used or state the applications of carbon nanotubes? Carbon nanotubes are used in a wide range of consumer applications due to their excellent physical and chemical properties. Some of these are device modeling, energy storage, automotive parts, water purification, sporting goods, coatings, thin film electronics, electromagnetic shields, actuators and in both hulls. Why is carbon nanotube stronger than steel? Carbon nanotube is stronger than steel due to two reasons. Firstly, due to the interlocking of carbon to carbon by covalent bonds. And secondly, that each carbon nanotube is a one large molecule. And this means it does not have the weak spots as found in the other materials such as the boundaries between the crystalline grains that forms the steel. And this is the reason it is stronger than steel. Are carbon nanotubes expensive? Yes, they are expensive since they are rare and are like super materials. What is the strength of carbon nanotube? Carbon nanotubes have a low density of 1.3 to 1.4 grams centimeter per centimeter cube. Its specific strength is up to 48,000 kilonewtons meter kilogram inverse and is very high compared to the strength of high carbon steel which is 154 kilonewtons meter kilogram inverse. What is the stronger than carbon nanotube? It is boron nitride abbreviated as BN nanotubes which are stronger than carbon nanotubes. Their strength is about 30% higher than PMMA polymethyl methacrylate interface and about 20% higher than epoxy resins. What is the color of carbon nanotubes? Carbon materials generally appear either colorless or black. What type of bonding is present in carbon nanotubes? The chemical bonding of carbon nanotubes is entirely of 
sp2 hybridized bond similar to graphene what type of bonding is found in diamond diamonds have sp3 bonding in their structures which bonding is stronger sp2 or sp3 sp2 hybridized bonds are stronger than sp3 bonds what attributes to special and unique strength as well as electrical properties to carbon nanotubes the sp2 hybridized bonds provides nanotubes with their unique strength and the associated pi bonds are the reason for their unique electrical properties in the carbon nanotubes what is the main operation principle of carbon nanotubes the main operation principle of carbon nanotubes is adsorption during this process an adsorbed gas molecule either transfers or takes an electron from a nanotube this charge transfer is responsible for the electrical properties of the carbon nanotubes and the change can then be detected what are carbon nanotube fibers the carbon nanotube fibers which are abbreviated as cntf have attracted extensive interest and as desirable building blocks for advanced functional fibers because of their extraordinary tensile strength high flexibility light weight high specific surface area excellent electrical properties and high thermal conductivities state the limitations of carbon nanotubes presence of impurities non uniformity in morphology and structure large surface area hydrophobicity insolubility and tendency to bundle together are some li major limitations especially if they are used in nano medical applications are carbon nanotubes waterproof studies have revealed that carbon nanotubes as a coating can both repel and hold water in place therefore it can be useful for applications such as water transport or harvesting surfaces printing and spectroscopy are carbon nanotubes unbreakable and invisible Carbon nanotubes are the toughest material known to science. It is two hundred times stronger than steel, and even diamonds. They are sheets of graphene rolled into long tubes, and are practically unbreakable and nearly invisible. However, scanning electron microscopy (SEM). and transmission electron microscopy tem evidences showed fractured surfaces of broken carbon nanotubes and were found to be sharp and flat which is a strong indication that carbon nanotubes can break in a brittle manner at room temperature what methods are employed for the synthesis of carbon nanotubes the synthesis of carbon nanotubes can be done by plasma based synthesis method or arc discharge evaporation method laser ablation method thermal synthesis process chemical vapor deposition and by plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition what are the types of carbon nanotubes based on its chirality depending upon chirality they are of three types such as armchair as shown in the figure a zigzag figure b and chiral figure c the difference in these types of carbon nanotubes are created depending on how the graphite is rolled up during its creation process 
What is difference between armchair zigzag and chiral nanotubes? They differ in chiral angle and diameter. Armchair carbon nanotubes share electrical properties similar to metals, whereas the zigzag and chiral nanotubes possess electrical properties similar to semiconductors. What is chirality? When an object or molecule cannot be superimposed on its mirror image, it is called chirality. What is the difference between chiral and achiral nanotubes? The main difference between chiral and achiral is that the mirror image of chiral is non-superimposable whereas the mirror image of an achiral nanotube is superimposable. Does the conduction depends upon the chirality of nanotubes? The conducted AGF stimulation demonstrated that the thermal conductivity of nanotube pellets depended on its mass density, chirality and diameter of the individual carbon nanotubes making up the pellets. So yes, it depends upon the chirality of nanotubes. What is chiral carbon called? Chiral carbon atoms are referred to as stereogenic carbons or asymmetrical carbon atoms. Are zigzag and armchair carbon nanotubes chiral or achiral or twisted? The zigzag and armchair are achiral tubes in contrast to chiral nanotubes. Which carbon nanotube is chiral? A vector connecting the centers of the two hexagons is called the chiral vector and it determines the strength of a single walled carbon nanotube. A chiral vector C can be specified by a chiral index Nm using basis vectors A1 and A2 of a graphene sheet. What could be the diameter and length of a carbon nanotube? The carbon nanotube has a diameter of about 1 to 3 nanometers and it could be hundreds to thousands of nanometer long. How the thickness of carbon nanotube be compared with a human hair? One carbon nanotube is 10,000 times thinner than a human hair. State an inexpensive method for the synthesis of carbon nanotubes. An easy and inexpensive method for the preparation of carbon nanotube is to immerse graphite powder in a mixture of nitric and sulfuric acid along with little potassium chlorate. The solution is then heated up to 70 degrees centigrade left in the air for around three days and thus we obtain bundles of carbon nanotubes. What is the future scope of carbon nanotubes? In future, carbon nanotubes will compete with carbon fibers for high-end uses, particularly in weight-sensitive applications such as Kevlar. They can also be used as flame retardant additives to plastics. Nanotubes are promising as the central elements for future miniaturized electronic devices. Carbon nanotubes have also been found to be environmental friendly. The remarkable properties of carbon nanotubes make them very promising for the use in modern fields of science and technology and with this we come to an end of this topic keep watching also share and subscribe to my channel